are at the Oklahoma State Capitol with Representative Todd Thompson. First of all, Todd, thanks for taking time out of your schedule to talk with us. Uh, more importantly, it's uh, I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to really have an open public uh, forum to present um, something that's really been going on here at the Capitol uh, in regards to re resolution that I uh, proposed, and I wanted to address that with you today. Resolution 1015, been all over the uh, the internet news, uh, YouTube, and, and a lot of places. Um, Richard Dawkins coming to Oklahoma City, or actually the University of Oklahoma down in Norman, and you had some thoughts about that. Take off, man. Hey, the House Resolution 1015, here's what it says. It says that OU should be a venue for free thought, open ideas. Uh, it acknowledges the fact that they are doing a year-long presentation of Darwin's theory, which fundamentally I don't agree with, but wasn't attacking that at all. Uh, what I did uh, condemn, what I did criticize, was the fact that in in the guise of science, they brought in an open atheist and really the leader of uh, the atheistic movement uh, around the world in Richard Dawkins. And I felt like it was my obligation to represent my constituency, uh, felt like it was my right as a, as a legislator, as an Oklahoma citizen, to present my view, and I did that in House Resolution 1015. I think people need to understand that in no place does the resolution have the force of law, the ability to keep OU. It didn't prevent them uh, from, from bringing him, nor would it have the ability to do that. But it's my way of saying I don't agree with the fact that they did bring him in. And the funny thing is, is that the resolution was never heard. Uh, we never even uh, had that on the floor, and that was a decision that I make be made because I did not want to really interrupt any uh, legislation that could have the force of law that was pressing because I didn't want to interrupt really the business at hand here at the state capitol. Wow, what an opportunity. That's so cool because it didn't even get heard on the House floor, but yet there's so much talk about it. What about your talk? Are you being heard? Let the legislators at the state of Oklahoma know where you stand on this issue. Um, is, uh, well, and actually what I need to do now is I need to get clarification on the issue, Todd. Is the issue that uh, um, Oklahoma is keeping people, or you want the University of Oklahoma to keep people away that don't have the same views as some of the teachers in at the University of Oklahoma, or my views or your views? What is it that you're really trying to say to the University of Oklahoma? What I'm saying is simply that the university needs to be about free thought and open ideas. When it comes to science, uh, for some reason, uh, the evolutionary uh, model, the evolutionary theory has controlled and dominated that marketplace. Any opposing idea is not allowed. And fundamentally, I think what it, what it goes to the heart of is what Richard Dawkins is all about, is that it's not a scientific issue, it is a theological issue. And I don't think that they are scared at all of my theology uh, impacting their science because that's what I'll hear is you're just trying to get that God stuff in here you're just one of those Christians that are simple and narrow-minded what I think that they are scared of is that any science that I might have is going to affect their theology because absolutely and fundamentally a man like Richard Dawkins stands opposed to God and I believe that most Oklahomans stand for God and believe that we have a creator let me let me read a, a quote and some things that Richard Dawkins says Richard Dawkins, in his book, he has a book called The God Delusion, he argues that sexual molestation is less damaging to children than religious training. Uh, I, I think most Oklahomans would disagree with that. It is absolutely safe to say that if you meet somebody who claims not to believe in evolution, that person is ignorant, stupid, or insane. I know a lot of doctors with a lot of degrees that would fundamentally disagree with that, and yet they have no voice and no place to be heard. I think most Oklahomans think they have a right to be heard. He says this about God, he's, that he is a petty, unjust, unforgiving control freak. Bad enough right there. But he also goes on and says he is a vindictive, bloodthirsty, bloodthirsty, ethnic cleanser, a misogynistic, homophobic, racist, infant infanticidal, genocidal, filicidal, pestilential, me megalomaniacal, sadomasochistic, capriciously malevolent bully. If I said that even close to being right, what I know, bottom line is, is he has a hatred for the very thought of God. And since we as a people here in Oklahoma stand fundament fundamentally for God, 
that we as a country were founded on the principle that we were created by God. He stands opposed to everything that I think our country stands for and that everything our state stands for, and I felt it was my right to stand opposed to him, and especially for the university bringing him, him in. Okay, and you say you, you know a lot of uh, people with PhDs and, and that type of thing, and they're, you said not able to be heard. What exactly are you saying there? Well, what I'm saying is uh, people are worried about me censoring Richard Dawkins, and I think the censorship has taken place for years in our universities, uh, even in our high schools and in junior highs, where there is one argument that is presented, there is one theory that is presented, and that's the evolutionary theory. And yet, whether it's intelligent design, whether it's uh, creationism, whatever that case may be, that has no place and no opportunity to be heard uh, because they would claim separation of church and state. They would claim that it's narrow-minded. Okay. Uh, and so I'm saying uh, okay. the censorship has already taken place, and it's against those individuals that have good science to refute evolution. Wow, so Representative Thompson, correct me if I'm wrong, but what I'm hearing and I, I think is being presented is that evolutionary theory is the one that's predominant now and you're saying that actually intelligent design or creationism is the one that is being censored out of our education system. That's what I'm saying and people can say well you're fundamentally wrong uh, your uh, your view that there is any validity to intelligent design or creationism um, that you're wrong Todd Thompson I say great then Give, give me the opportunity to have people argue that, and right now there is no opportunity to argue that. And to go along with that, not only is there not an opportunity, but then in light of that, the university chose to bring in a guy that wasn't presenting science, but he presented uh, a theology. The, the message that, that Richard Dawkins gave was the purpose of purpose. Sounds very scientific, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, so he talked about the purpose, and, and in using a little bit of science, he talked a lot about why godlessness is the way, and why so many people were there with their little scarlet A saying, I am an open atheist. Well, fundamentally, I think most Oklahomans would be disappointed to know that we were promoting at a university an activity like that that stands systematically and diabolically opposed to everything that we stand for, and at the very least would expect the university to say, we want somebody that is there presenting an alternative view, at least to go mano a mano with Richard Dawkins. Wow, sounds like a fire issue. And what do you think? Become involved, let's hear from you at the Capitol. Contact your representatives, let them know www.okhouse.gov has every listing of emails for all of the representatives in OKSenate.gov, all the emails of all the senators. Let's be heard on the issue that Representative Thompson has brought up and now is receiving in emails worldwide. Oklahoma, we've got the fo focus on us right now. Hey, and that's right, and I want people to know because there's gonna be people watching this that say, Todd, I don't agree. I, I, you know, I'm a man of faith, but I agree with evolution. That is great. My argument isn't whether or not you believe in evolution or not. My argument is whether or not opposing views have an opportunity to be heard. Now, all I'm saying is that in a university setting, the very fundamental premise of a university should allow all ideas, and, and that's what I'm saying. So if you disagree, wow. let's have the argument. That's good. Wonderful topic for discussion with your legislators. Thanks for having, uh, having the time, Todd, to come by and talk to mylegislator.tv. Thanks so much.